Good afternoon friends, welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here and today I'm in Beach Mountain, North Carolina and we're here today because we have a ticket to go check out the Autumn at Oz Festival. This should be a lot of fun. This is an old abandoned theme park from way back in the 70s that shut down and now three times a year in the same month of September, three weekends out of the month of September, you can buy a ticket and come up here and walk through the theme park and kind of uh, live out the Wizard of Oz fantasy. So I'm taking you along with me today. So get ready, let's go have some fun and see what we can see today. All right guys, we're here at the beginning of the walk. You have this brick area, but this is not the yellow brick road. We are in hunt for the yellow brick road today just as much as we're here to see the Emerald City and the Wizard, okay? But when you get up here, this uh, nice lady right here behind me, she will give you a ticket, and that is to get into Auntie M's house. If you do not have that ticket, you cannot enter the house. So if you do come up here this year here in 2022, make sure you stop and see her and get your ticket before you go inside. And that is what the ticket looks like because my wife's being really helpful right now. Also right here in this area, you have some history of the land of Oz. It says welcome to welcome to Oz of North Carolina. Our history 1976 to present. Very very cool stuff. Land of Oz opened in the summer of 1970 and welcomed over 400,000 guests in its first season. So right here we have a map of the area. Judy Garland Memorial Overlook. We're going to check that out. And right here is the cheer lift where we actually came up. So we're at the Fountain of Youth area. We're going to make our way to the Judy Garland Overlook. And then we're going to end up at the Gale Farm. And then, looky there. The tornado is going to come and then we're going to hit the Yellow Brick Road. And then let the games begin. A little bit of fun. So as we walk toward the Judy Garland Overlook, they have these little signages set up. Give you a little bit of facts about the area. And here we are, we made it to the Judy Garland Memorial Overlook. There is Judy Garland. And today I have on my red shoes because that is my ruby red slippers. I didn't wear my traditional yellow brooks. Wow, what a view. A lot of clouds in the area today. <laughs> we are up here, friends. And here we are at the Gale Family Farm. First show at 10.30. Every 30 minutes they will have a new show. Show includes Dancing Farm Hands, Over the Rainbow, Professor Marvel. So it is quite cloudy here in Kansas if I do say so myself so if you ever come up here you have like they have like some food and drinks normally have like lemonade right over here in this area right here is the Gale farm house okay you this is where once you get your ticket you actually enter right here and then right up here they normally have a little show with Dor Dorothy and her uncles and they'll be out here dancing around singing the songs from the movies and then she will make her way down through the woods and go visit Professor Marvel. Right here. How you doing, Professor? Good, how are you? How is the weather going to be today? You're supposed to be able to see the future a little bit, and I, I was do, just curious. There's probably a storm in your future. Really? Yep, I believe so. Um, <sighs> but in, Which is important that you know that should anyone tell you to get into a storm cellar, by all means get in the storm cellar. That, be sound, safe there. that sounds like some good uh, information. I might take heed to that. The other advice I would give you is don't associate with that one over there. Really? What's wrong with her? She has a dark heart. Watch. She's trying to have this girl's dog destroyed. No way. She's just, she's dark. A gentleman was here a while ago and says, have you got any witches in Kansas? And I said, no, sir. I don't believe we have witches in Kansas, but that might be the closest thing we have. So. Well, I'm going to go say hello to her and see, like, why is she so dark? I wouldn't stand too close. Might rub off. <laughs> she might suck your soul right out of your body. She's, okay. She's thank, thank you for your time, Professor. Enjoy your day. Thank you. So we're going to go talk. This, this man 
over here, this professor, the con man, he he's here was illegally. Evil and you had a dark heart, and oh, I yeah. should stay far, I'm far away suck from you. Soul out of you. Well, he's a con man. He's a liar. So you're okay. I don't you're, you're have not the a bad county. Person. No, I'm misunderstood. Right. And I am the crux of the story. Yeah. Yes. Well, okay. Are you? Let's see your package. Oh, you want to know? Because I own half the county and the sheriff. This is a real writ from the sheriff of Pottawatomie County, which is where you are in Wamego, Kansas. Yeah. Well, all right. It's real. I have a perfect right to take that dog and have him destroyed. What did he do exactly? I'm all but lame for the bite on my leg. Oh, he bit you? Yes, he bit me. You mean she bit her dog? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like that Gale guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. You're not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. I would never ever say you're not welcome to anybody that says thank you for your time. Kids, don't be that way. Counting chicks, all right. The old incubator broke, so she's moving him to a new one today. What's wrong? Oh, just listen to what Miss Gulch did to Toto. She hit him right over the back with a rake, all because she says he gets in her garden and that chases her nasty old cat every day. Well, Dorothy, please, can't you see we're busy here? Well, but she said she was going to get the sheriff. Look, Dorothy, the next time you're walking back from school, don't go by Miss Gulch's place. That way, Toto won't get into her garden, and you won't get into any trouble. See? Oh, hunk, you just don't listen, do you? Yeah, well, your head ain't made out of straw, you know. Hey, give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh, Hickory. Oh, what do I do? Just try to forget about it. Soon she'll forget about the whole thing and it'll be like it never happened. Oh, she said she was going to make sure the Toto was destroyed. Oh, yeah. hurt that cute little dog. Why, she'd have to be real wicked to do that. Uh, Hickory. Oh, hunk, let me help you with that. Dorothy, don't you worry. It'll all work out. Cross my heart. You know what you should do? What's that? What I would do. I'd walk right up to her and spit in her eye. Would you really? Yes, I would. I'd walk right up to her and just... Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. You stand up to Almira. Why, you'd have to develop a little bit more of a backbone before that happened. All right, all right. Laugh it up now. Okay. We got a lot of work to do before sundown, all right? Besides, there's a storm coming, too. Oh, we'll find Anne in, and I know she'll know just what to do. Do you think she'll know what to do? Tell me to find myself a place where I can't get into any trouble. Do you suppose there is such a place? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away. Behind the moon, beyond the rain.
Go ahead and check out this room. And this here must be Dorothy's room right here. It's a very spacious house. So right here we have Auntie M's kitchen. Look at these baked goods we got over here. Auntie M, you need to invite me to the house to eat because that there just looks good. Look at that. Hello. Is there a storm coming? Henry says so. I'm great. You're a man of grievance. Really? Do y'all have a storm cellar I can go down and hide? Yes, there is. There's a storm root cellar that you can take refuge in if you like. All right. I'm going to do it. Thank you very much. How nice is that? I don't even know her and she's like, go in the storm cellar. So here we go. We're going to the storm cellar. Wow. Listen to that. Sounds like a storm brewing. Right there's the witch. Surrender Dorothy. Look at the room, look at the kitchen area here. It's just destroyed the breads. Never even got a chance to taste it. And the room is very angry. The doors are off the hinges. Look at the crack in the wall. That is absolutely nuts. Ooh, oh man, look at Dorothy's room. Right there's her shoes. Bed's all tore up. Auntie M, is she okay? Look at her room. All right. Wow, that's dizzying. Where are we at? Look at that. We killed the witch. Where are we at? This is Oz. Look at the yellow brick road down there. We are not in Kansas no more. There is a lot of people here in Oz. Look at the line. Look at that. It's the witch. He did it. I have evidence. Like a bud, my tongue. Don't get you me. Being wickedly wondering. It is hard. It's harder. Much harder than being a bumbling fool. I agree. I'm going to walk away on that comment. So here we are to see our first interaction. You have these little signs set up here on the yellow brick road to see some characters. You are not going to believe this. We were just in a tornado. No way. Yes way. Well, you won't believe this. We looked up over the rainbow and the house came tumbling over, took two or three turns, landed crash there, and I hear we have gotten rid of the wicked witch of the east 
thanks to yes. you. Yes, you welcome. Yeah. Even though we didn't mean to, but you're welcome. I am so thankful and so happy that you've done that. Now we have to go see the wizard because we got to get be about, back home. Oh, it's going to be about three day journey. Okay. I hope you've packed some very comfortable. <gasps> you have your ruby slippers on. Exactly. Let's put a little bit of a spell on them. <sighs> now you're going to be ready to go. And you're going to wish you brought a broomstick. <laughs> because you're going to be skipping a long time. <laughs> Have safe All right. travels, my dears. Are All you right. ready to sing? We are going to take a quick selfie first. Perfect. We're, We're off, off to see the wizard, the, the wonderful winners of Oz. Yay! Bye, my dears. <laughs> it's too much fun. So right here next to the Gill House where we came out of, as you see us all wrecked, we have the Munchkin Land here. Well, hello! Hello! Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you! How are so, you doing today? I am doing great. Allow me to do and give you my official welcome. Alright. As Mayor of Munchkin City in the county in the land of Oz, I welcome you most regally. Welcome well, to you and to you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Well, where are you headed today? We're headed to the Emerald City. We got to see the wizard because we got to get back home. Okay. All right. Well, that's what I heard that uh, Dorothy, and she, she was saying something about that too. So as a matter of fact, in order for you to do that, do you know the way? The Yellow Brick Road is the Follow way. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Yes. There thank you. you. All right. Exactly. Thank you so much. All right. Well, have a safe journey. We will. Okay, thank you. Be careful. Hopefully you'll get back home sometime. All right. <laughs> oh, I didn't think so. I can't even scare a crow. People come from miles around to eat in my field and laugh in my face. Oh, I'm a failure. All because I haven't got a brain. If I had a brain, I could... I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. In my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Oh, oh. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble for a game. Oh, oh. With the thoughts you'd be thinking, you could be another link, but if you only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why the ocean the shore. I could think of things I never thought before. And then I'd sit and think some more. There. Hey, how you doing? Wonderful. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm on my way to Emerald City. You are? Yes. What are you going to ask the wizard for? Are you still thinking about happiness. it? Oh, happiness. Just happiness. I think that's a great thing. Just world <laughs> happiness, right? Well, me too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Well, should we get a picture together? Yes, that would be awesome. All right. <laughs> I love it when you go in there and you interact with some of these characters. And for whatever reason, even since I was a kid, my favorite character was always the Scarecrow. And look how colorful Goodbye. the uh, Cornstalks is this year. They wasn't this colorful last year. Look, here comes Dorothy right now. She's going to come interact with the Tin Man. It's a man! A man made out of tin! chopping that tree. Suddenly it began to rain. Right in the middle of the chop, I rested solid. I've been that way ever since. Well, you're perfect now. Oh, oh my neck, please. My neck. Oh, perfect. Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead. I don't hear anything. Because it's empty. Tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart. All hollow. When a man said it's a metal, he should be on his metal. And then I just want to part. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be metal, and a bolt and a metal, regardless of the heart. So, we 
we got some firewood over here so i guess our next character to meet is the tin man doing good how are you doing today I'm well oiled thank you very much that is awesome well oiled i like that we're on our way to the emerald city and we just want to stop by to say hello to you oh well thank you it's good to see you today awesome can we get a selfie or a picture oh of course come on in we've got the scarecrow we've got the tin man and now we got to go find the cowardly lion but i'm confident as long as we stay on this yellow brick road you and i will make it happen Do you suppose there could be any lions or, or tigers or bears? Oh my! Lions, tigers, and bears! Oh, oh my. my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Which one are you first? I'll take you all together if you want. I'll take you standing on one foot. I'll take you with my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm not sneaking up on me, eh? Why, yada, yada, I'll get you people. Oh, you, you look like this shit on you. I'm picking on all of these people when they've been nothing but nice to you. Nice? How do you know they're nice? You look like you could mess someone up. Look at you causing such a fuss. Why, you're nothing but a great big coward. You're right, I am a coward. I haven't any courage at all. Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Have you tried counting sheep? Because I'm doing good. I'm, I'm afraid of them. <laughs> oh, well, there's no need to be afraid anymore. You've got all of your friends here with you. Uh, do, don't you think the wizard could help him with his courage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, gee. It's nice here and all. It's been in me for so long. I, I just have to tell you how I feel. Life is sad, believe me, to see when you're born to be a sissy without the living bird. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the night. You see it with the teeth. I'm afraid there's no denying. I'm just a dandelion, afraid I don't deserve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the night. I got somebody I want you to meet. This is my new friend. <laughs> And he's very brave. Uh, not yet. I gotta see the wizard about that. <laughs> Almost there though. Almost there. Awesome. We're gonna take a quick photo now? Sure. All right, cool deal. So we've met the scarecrow, we've met the tin man, and now we have met the cowardly lion. And now we're just gonna investigate down the yellow brick road a little bit further and see what kind of other beings we can find. We've seen kind of the heroes of the story. Now we're gonna wanna look for some villains. This is a beautiful waterfall. Check this out. Very pretty. The mushrooms out there. They have some signs down here in the woods. It says, keep out. And then this one here says, go away. We're on our way to see the witch. Her castle's back here. We're going to go, you know, hang out with her. See if she'll sell it to me. I couldn't afford it anyway. I just can't wait to hear what she says. Right here we have some signage, wanted signs of Dorothy Gale. And she is wanted for murder, trespass, and theft. The murder would be killing the witch's sister. Theft would be the ruby slippers. And trespass, I'm not really sure. See this sign right here? It says no water beyond this point. Quick question quiz for you. Why can you not have water past this point as we enter the witch's domain? Put it in the comment section down below if you have the answer. Some of you guys have to move up this way to see better. You can. Someone always helps that girl. Well, it's all the worse for her. She's always dancing through life with a pair of my sister's stolen slippers. Well, ew, baby people. I mean, how nice of you to come and visit me in my loneliness. Once I gain the ruby slippers, I'll be the most powerful in all of Oz. Ah, Nico, Nico, come here. 
Now, I need you to go to the edge of the haunted forest to bring me that little girl. Girl! Yes. Bring the girl! Bring the girl. Little girl. Little girl. Oh, and, and her little dog, too. Bring the dog! Yes. Little girl. Ah. And don't worry about the others. I don't care what happens to them. But the little girl should be unharmed and alive. And the slippers better not have a scratch on them. I want them most of all. Yes. Now pay attention. <laughs> they shouldn't give you much trouble. Because you see, I sent this little bug out ahead to take the fight out of them. So you can go, go, seize them, fly. <laughs> I'm not that kind of witch. I don't do what's popular. Nico, Nico, what is this? Awesome, well, you awesome have castle, by the way. Like a wonderful castle. Yes. It blends in wonderfully with the mountains to keep people out. Oh. It didn't work today. <laughs> no, not today. Unfortunately. Who's your little friend? This is Nico. Nico. Yes. Hey. Nico's fine. Wave to everyone. Say hello in there. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of magic that is. It's not a broom and it's not a crystal ball, but he must be some sort of wizard. We have a selfie now. Picture. Sure. So there is the witch's castle. If you've never seen it before. And down there's where they do all their photo ops. <laughs> so look at the face. Look at this dude's nose. Look at that. Oh, and guess what we got coming up next? We got one of these old green ugly guards up here. Here, if we take a picture, I guess that's a don't matter. Go ahead, get it in there. Go ahead, get it in there. <laughs> Not too oh, close. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. Oh, he might scare me. Here we have some more beautiful area. Look at the face right there. We're in the haunted forest area now. Check out this view behind me here. Is it not beautiful? Even on a cloudy day, there's just something about this area. It's still so pretty to be up here in the mountains. And right there is the top of Witch's Castle. And right here is another face on this tree here in the forest. Not too far away from the gate that will allow us passage into the Oz. All right, friends, we have made it to the end of the yellow brick road. We're here at the gate. Now we just got to get passage to the city. I don't know why would you ring that bell? 
Because it was there. In the open. My gates are open. My goodness. It says bail out of order. I had to check and see if it would really not ring. Uh, 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 testing, huh? That's yeah. the way you're doing things. Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, you know what? You're not my problem. You're the wizard. You better come with me. Uh, uh, a little bit to the left there. Can I, I got to get a picture with my wife with you first. Sure. Friends, here we have some signage right when we come through the gate. It says Emerald City to the left. Observation deck to the right. Down there is Emerald City entrance. But for now, we're going to push forward to the observation deck. I've never done this before. This was a, a extra ticket that we had to purchase this year. So uh, here we go. Let's see how this is going to work. I can't wait to check out the observation deck. Unfortunately, I have to go up my favorite steps. That's my crew in front of me. My loved ones. They don't mind steps as much as me. So we just came up with those steps. We got more steps. Look at these steps. These are a lot of steps. That is beautiful. Here we go. We're going to walk into the Emerald City area. In this area, they have some food for sale. Got some seating down here with some umbrellas. I don't have to worry about sun too much today, but I know in the past I've been here and it be quite toasty out here. Here they have the State Fair Omaha Balloon. If you can tell, I'm in the Emerald City now because everything is green. So we're about to to watch the show so uh buckle up put on tight we're in the grand finale i believe my eyes why have you come back hey sir we've done what you've asked we brought you the broomstick of the wicked witch of the west we've melted her oh you liquidated her eh very resourceful yes sir and if you please we'd like for you to keep your promises sir not so fast, not so fast. I'll have to give the matter a little thought. Go away, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I want to go home now. You've had plenty of time already. Yeah! Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz! I said come back tomorrow! If you were really so great and powerful, then you would keep your promise. Do you continue to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures. You're lucky I'm giving you audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. Oh! <laughs> um, um, and you don't you stop and don't do that. to the man behind the curtain. I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. Who are you? I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. I don't believe you. No, no, I'm afraid it's true. I don't believe it's true. There, there is. You hot water. Yeah. You're a very bad man. No, no, I'm a very good I'm just a very bad wizard. What about the heart you promised Tin Man? Well, I guess... And the courage you promised Cowardly Lion! And, and Scarecrow's brain! And a brain? Why, anyone could have a brain. A brain is a very mediocre commodity. Why, every creature that walks this earth or swims the seas has a brain. But they have. You have something they don't. A diploma! Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the uh, Universal Tartars Comedianum E. Blurobazurum, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of the uh, THD. THD? 
Yes, I am. Doctor of Theology. The sum of the sperm and the two sides of my family's child was equal to the sperm of the remaining side. <gasps> oh, joy! Rapture! I got a brain! Wait, is that right? How can I ever thank you enough? Well, you can't. And as for you, my feline friend, you're a victim of disorganized thinking. You're under the mistaken impression that simply because you, you run away from danger that you have no courage. You are confusing courage for wisdom. <laughs> Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes. And they have no more courage than you have. But they have one thing you haven't got. A medal. Therefore, for meritorious service, extraordinary valor, conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, and for bringing our dear job safely back to us, proving that you are a lion in your own way. I hereby award you the Medal of Courage. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, I, I, all shucks, folks, I'm speechless. <laughs> oh, and as for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. You have no idea how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be practical until they can be made to be unbreakable. But I still want one. Right. Uh, back where I come from, we have people who do nothing all day but good deeds. They're called philander... They're good deed doers. And their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got. Ta-da! Oh, it's beautiful. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness and unconditional love for your friends, I take great pleasure in presenting you a small token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. Oh, it ticks, it ticks. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, look what it says. Courage, ain't it the truth, ain't it the truth. But also, what do you think? Hey, what about Dorothy? Yes, what about Dorothy? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dorothy next. Mm. If there's anything in that black bag for me. Well, no, no, I'm afraid not. And then Dorothy, I'm not, I don't know how I'm going to get you back to Kansas. We'll never see Auntie ever, Uncle Henry ever again. Yeah, but what am I going to do? Oh. Oh. Here's someone who will help you. Why? People want to go so quickly. 
thinking. That was so simple. I should have thought of it for you. I should have felt it in my heart. Stay with us, Dorothy. We all love you. We don't want you to go. I love you all too, but it will never be like Kansas. Besides, Annie Anne is probably stop worrying about me by now. Oh, you do understand, don't you? <laughs> oh, I know it isn't right. But I'm sure going to Mr. Wade used to help before he kept the coat. I never would have found it if it hadn't been for you. All you need is stay strong and tall. And be the bravest son of them all. Well, now I know I have a heart. Because it's breaking. <laughs> I now know what true love is, Dorothy. And it's all because of you. You're all the best friends anybody could ever have. Are you ready, Dorothy? What's going on now? You have people that are in line to have their pictures taken with all the actors. All right, friends, that will pretty much do it for me today. I had a wonderful time up here at the Land of Oz or Autumn at Oz event here in 2022. Great time, great additions that I really enjoyed this year compared to past years was they had uh, like people stationed at each character interaction spot, like where they would do pictures where you could give them their phone and they would take the photo. You didn't have to pass your phone off to a total stranger line so uh i really enjoyed that this year a lot of cool things they added the balloon at the end where you could take your picture in the balloon down around the concession at emerald city i really enjoyed that so i guess that's all i got today we had a wonderful time i would definitely love to come back in the future if you've never tried it it's definitely worth the money to come up here and uh go through the adventure the actors do a phenomenal job year in and year out and uh, if it's too far away and you can't go, you can just come right back here on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe and come with me on my adventures. Okay? So if you like today's content, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please put it down in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti. And friends, I will see you in the next video. And all you guys stay safe out there. I will see you next time. So long.